The ancient art of feng shui is explained in this video. Feng is Chinese for wind, and shui is water. Feng shui is an ancient Chinese art of organizing human life to maximize qi and good fortune. Elders Q and I has been explained as energy of life. It is a life force, internal energy, or as matter on the verge of becoming energy, or energy at the point of materializing. The cosmic spirit that pervades and exists in all living things, a primordial energy. Qi is a circulating life force. The unimpeded circulation of qi and a balance of its negative and positive forms in the body are essential to overall good health and prosperity. Qi flows through channels in the body known as meridians. It is responsible for all human body movements. If the body flow of qi is smooth and uninterrupted, neither too active or sedentary, then the person is in balance. This individual is practicing the art of Tai Chi. This consists of qi movement, mentally and physically within his body. If the qi flow is interrupted then illness, discomfort, or stress may result. Thousands of years ago, Chinese astronomers and philosophers observed the night sky and established the principles that the stars, moon, planets and the whole universe influences human beings on Earth. These astrological observations were used to identify and name 28 constellations. A detailed analysis determined how each constellation may impact humans based on the year of birth. The constellations were also classed by the cardinal orientation in the sky. The northern orientation was the black turtle. The western orientation was the white tiger. The southern orientation was the crimson phoenix and the eastern orientation was the azure dragon. Roof tiles depicting the directional animals was very common in home construction, to assure that the house was oriented according to proper alignment with the universe, thereby, bring good fortune and health to the inhabitants. Even after death, the placement of the deceased, and orientation would be characterized by directional animals as presented in this approximate 6,000-year burial site, currently displayed in the Helen, China, Museum. The ancient Chinese belief that the universe directly affects humans on Earth has been shown to have much merit. In 1911, Charles Thomson Rees Wilson invented a device that would allow the observation of high-energy particles bombarding all living things on Earth. The cloud chamber, consisting of concentrated rubbing alcohol poured into a glass box that sits on a bed of dry ice, forms supersaturated alcohol by this cooling. A high-energy particle passes over the supersaturated layer, it ionizes the air, causing the alcohol vapor to condense and leave a physical trail. Subatomic particles, such as cosmic ray muons, alpha particles, and high-energy electrons are striking our bodies all the time. The cloud trails are formed along the paths of these particles. The following provides the feng shui principles for house planning and directional placement to achieve auspicious and beneficial living habitat. The practical application of centuries of celestial observations have been condensed into an eight-directional chart known as the eight kuas. An individual's kua is determined by the birth year. Based on a 60-year cycle, the birth years for men and women of Western Four Groups and the Eastern Four Groups, are presented by two charts. As an example, if the individual is born in the year 1983, the individual would belong to the Ken, Kua, with the northeasterly direction being most beneficial. Therefore, the most beneficial direction of the front door is facing the southwesterly direction, while the back of the house is facing to the northeast. If a woman was born in 1982, she would have the Chen, Kua, with the most favorable front door facing the southeast direction, with the back of the house facing northwest. In this Chen Kua house, the most auspicious, beneficial location for the living room is placed in the southwest portion of the house while the study is northeast and the bedroom is in the west. Here is a brief summary of the other eight kuas. Let us look closer into the eight kua diagram. In the center there is the symbol for yin and yang. The eight kuas, 
symbols based on yin and yang elements, represent the Chinese worldview. Each symbol or kua is made up by three lines, each of which could be either a broken line and an unbroken line. The broken line stands for yin, which represent female power and gentleness. The unbroken line stands for yang, which represents the male power and strength. Now that we have established the most auspicious and beneficial location for the bedroom for a Chen Kua house, let us properly place furniture into this space. As shown, within the Chen Kua house, the bedroom has been placed in the west portion of the house. The most auspicious beneficial shape for the bedroom is a square room. The following show several examples of good feng shui. Here is an example of adequate feng shui. Several examples of these poor feng shui furniture arrangement are shown here. The headboard should never be facing a windows is shown. One of the main detractors from good feng shui is clutter. Especially if the individual has developed a habit of accumulating items, which were needed at the time, however, as time passed, these items are no longer utilized. Good feng shui, good sleep, and good health.